Good morning, guys. Welcome to Capes Virtual Classroom. In today's session, we'll understand certain adjustment, what we call accrual and prepayments. By now, you understand what is the concept of accrual. But let's just revise once again. Accrual is a concept which says that all income and expenses which belongs to that particular period should be recorded in that period only. No matter whether you have received in cash or not, no matter whether you have paid in cash or not. So basically, accrual and matching principle says, regardless of the cash receipts and payment, if expenses and income belongs to that particular period, record it in that period. That concept is called accrual concept. If we follow this accrual concept, there will be certain adjustment which we call accrued income and accrued expenses. So let's understand in today's session how accrued income concept works. Let me give a hypothetical situation. You are working in a company. You are supposed to get your salary on last working day of the month. But unfortunately, your company did not pay you on that day. Another day, another two days. There were some bank holidays and some other holidays. So by the time you got your salary, that was 5th of next month. We will be closing our books on the last working day of the month. So what will be the entry an employee will be making in his book books when the salary was due not received. So let's make an entry in the books of employee. The employee will be making an entry. For him, salary is an income. So by default, salary will be credited. Had it be a cash receipt in salary, we would have debited cash account. But in this case, cash did not come. It was supposed to come, did not come. So the entry we will be making is accrued salary debit and salary account credit. What is the nature of this accrued salary? It's an income which was due, not received. It is a current asset for us. Very soon, your employer will be making this payment. That's how it becomes a current asset for us. So when we look at this entry, the accrued salary will go in the balance sheet as a current asset, whereas salary account will be going to income statement as an income. Following my accrual principle where we say, whether the income has been received in cash or not, we still book in our books. Salary will be credited by the same amount whether you received in cash or you have not received in cash. I hope we are clear with this concept of accrued income. So that was the first entry which we made on the last working day of the month when the salary was due but not received. The next entry, what will be the entry when 5th of next month, we will be receiving the cash. Now, cash will be debited because we have already received it now. And what will be credited? Yes, you are right. It is accrued salary will be credited. So, with this entry, the heading called accrued salary will be removed from our box. It no longer exists as a current asset because it already been realized in cash. So these are the two entry which the employee will be making when the salary was due and not received. Let's move to employer side now. So this is the books of employer. And this was the book of employee. The first entry for your employer they were supposed to pay you the salary which they did not pay. So what will be the general entry for them? Now, for your employer, salary is an expense. So we will be debiting salary expenses debit. And what will be credited? Yes, the accrued expenses which is salary here will be credited. In this case, for your employer, the salary was current liability. 
they are supposed to pay but not paid so expense due but not paid it's a current liability if you show it in the financial statements the salary expenses will be going to income statement as an expense and the accrued expenses or accrued salary will be going to assets uh, liability side in the balance sheet that's the nature for an employer what will be the general entry when your employer will make the payment of salary now this time my accrued expense will be debited because i am releasing my current liability and cash account will be credited because cash is going out for employer this is how we make general entry for accrued now quick recap salary due not received for employee the entry will be accrued salary account debit salary account credit salary is an income for employee and accrued salary is a current asset for employee the moment you receive the salary cash will be debited because we debit what comes in and accrued salary which was current asset will be credited to remove it from the books the counter entry in the books of employer will be salary expense will be debited because for employer salary is an expense and accrued expense will be credited because for them it is a current liability the second entry when the employer will be making the payment accrued expense will be debited and cash account will be credited so this is how we make entry for accrued incomes and expenses i'm sure by now you are clear about the concept of accrual